What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle DePepe and this is my personal finance channel where I like talking about really anything related to money, finance, loans, cars, houses, mortgages, stocks, cryptocurrencies, and YouTube. So today we are going to be talking about how much I make on YouTube. Just full disclaimer, I don't make anything from this channel. I only I don't even have 100 subscribers yet. I do this for fun. I just enjoy sharing whatever I can to help people out, help them think about investing their money in different ways and, and things like that. But today I'm going to talk about how much money I make from my other YouTube channel. So my other YouTube channel is Cars and Kyle, and I have a little over 1400 subscribers right now. And I'm going to tell you exactly how much I make from that. All right, so if you guys are enjoying the content, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to, feel free to go over and check out my other channel, Cars and Kyle. Give those videos a thumbs up, subscribe to that channel as well. But either way, today we are going to get into the numbers of that channel. Now, to uh, I guess give you a little bit of a backstory to that. So originally, I, I used to live in New York City when I graduated from college. I, I majored in finance, I moved up to New York, I was a prop trader for a while, I did fixed income valuation. Um, and I was living in Manhattan as well as Jersey City, and I started watching Casey Neistat, and he was a huge inspiration to me. I, I loved watching his vlogs. I just I thought it was, I don't know, just it was very entertaining. It was fun. It was cool to see his life. Obviously, he has a very interesting life, much more interesting than mine, and it was just neat to watch that process. So I started doing daily vlogs. Now nobody really watched those, but that wasn't really the point. I, I guess I just had fun making them. I sort of see myself as more of an introverted person. I usually like to listen to others and, and you know, don't really go out of my way to talk to other people necessarily. I like to observe, absorb information, and formulate my own thoughts. That's just how I've been. And I feel like YouTube has sort of been an outlet for me. It's been a creative outlet to, to share my thoughts, to, to share my passions, which I started to turn those daily vlogs into not daily vlogs, first of all. And then once I moved back down to Maryland, I did a coding boot camp and well, I needed a car. I was commuting from my parents' house in Maryland into DC to do uh, the Flatiron School, which is a coding boot camp. And I bought a Tesla when I moved home. And, and once I started making videos with that Tesla, I realized that any vlogs with Tesla in the title, those started getting more views. Now at the same time, aside from Casey Neistat, I really like the car YouTubers. I am a huge car enthusiast, love motorcycles, cars and all that. And because of that, I was like, you know what, maybe I, maybe I should just become a car YouTube channel. So that's where I sort of rebranded that, that channel to Cars and Kyle, taken from Cars and Coffee. I, I loved going to those. There's a really big one in Virginia, which has now moved to Maryland, which is fantastic, but not going to get into that. Either way, I was watching like The Stradman, uh, Salamandrin, uh, Daily Driven Exotics, uh, now Savage Garage, who's actually local to Maryland, which is pretty sweet. Uh, watch Vin Wiki all the time, um, Vehicle Virgins. Um, but, but I think the Stradman was probably the biggest inspiration for me. I just, I love the style of his videos. Um, it was just so much fun, always upbeat, always enthusiastic, just having fun with his cars, having fun with friends. And, and that's kind of what I wanted to do. So that's what I started doing. So that channel slowly grew and I finally hit a thousand subscribers, I think in, in February, February or March of 2020. So I only was able to just start monetizing that YouTube channel in, I think, March of 2020. And we're going to go over exactly how much I made from that channel in 2020, crossing that thousand subscriber mark until December 31st, 2020. So um, right now, I think I'm at 1,418 subscribers. Um, we'll see what 2021 brings us and we'll see how this channel does. But here are the facts and figures. I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to my laptop, do a little screen share so you guys can see exactly the breakdown of when I started monetizing and how much money I was able to make in 2020. So let's get to it. All right, so this right here is my home channel for Cars and Kyle. Uh, as you can see abbreviated, it says 1.41K subscribers. But either way, let's just dive right into it. If I go ahead and go to the YouTube studio, this is where I can see all of my personal analytics. You can go in and see, you know, average retention time. You can see the monetization, um, CPM, all of that good stuff. So let's just check out the main dashboard. So you can see here, 1,420 subscribers. It looks like we've got another two in the last couple hours. So that's always fun. Um, but you can see how my videos do. So the first 17 hours and 50 minutes, 
ranking by views, six out of 10, not doing that great. My typical range is 50 to 100. So it's in that range, which means I get this green check mark. Impressions click-through rate is higher than normal. Average view duration, higher than normal. And you can see my top videos in the last 48 hours. Um, Dobre Brothers, BMW X3 M40i, and something about a Tesla. So you can start to get an idea about things like that. Now right here you can see that the channel analytics, this is the overall channel. Previous 28 days, the average was 94, I think 88, or no, sorry, just the previous 28 days was $94.88. Revenue uh, right now for the last 28 days, so it's like a rolling basis, is 73.76, and this is down 22%. So December, uh, I honestly haven't been posting as much. Um, you know, COVID, temperatures getting cold, haven't driven the car as much. I think there was actually a two week period where I, I didn't even drive the car. Um, it was just, it was cold, there was snow, and I just, I didn't have as many videos. So obviously if I'm not making as many new videos, you start to see a, a revenue drop there. Um, but I, I, I average around, as you can see, it says $94.88. So I hover somewhere around $100 over like a one month period or a four week period. So if we go to the analytics section, we can see how many views we've gotten in the last 28 days. And there's a revenue tab at the top. So we can just click on over to this and we can see that my estimated revenue um, for the last 28 days, December 19th to January 15th is $73.76. My RPM, so this is revenue per milli or per thousand and it tells you how much you earn per thousand views. You can obviously read the whole uh, thing there. And then playback CPM. Um, so this, again, the description's right there, but playback cost per milli tells you how much advertisers paid per thousand monetized playback. So I think 1452 is pretty good. I'm also a tiny channel, so I don't really know. Um, but we can scroll down and you can see monthly estimated revenue for the last six months. As you can see, August, September, October, I was doing over $100. Uh, November 97, December 96, January, right now it's only 30, but you can see it slowly started dropping down in November and December, and then right now it's around $73. So um, as I mentioned, I got monetized in March. So let's just go ahead and do 2020. So this is January 1st to December 31st. You can see this is a flat line because I was not monetized until... Looks like Wednesday, April 22nd, I made 17 cents, guys. That's right, 17 cents. But my estimated revenue for 2020 was $846.18. My playback-based CPM was $20.32. So I think that's pretty good, that's pretty high. Um, when we scroll down, you can see that my top two earning videos are Tesla-related content. So it's people searching for, Googling for Tesla-related content. First one being Tesla Model S Secrets and Hidden Features, uh, $84 in 2020. And then why I regret buying an older used Tesla Model S P85, $73. Then after that, you can actually see there were two BMW X3 M40i videos. So these, uh, the M40i is Chelsea's car. However, obviously I make content with it. Uh, thank you so much, Chelsea. Um, so one video did $61, one video did $38. And then this fifth video is my thousand mile Tesla road trip. I drove that car from Maryland down to Florida, uh, actually on New Year's of 2020, 20, 2019 into 2020. I actually left in 2019, got to Florida in 2020, and then put this video out. So that made me $30 in 2020. But this is a simple breakdown. You can see that, that these top channels do, you know, a significant percentage of the overall revenue in 2020. Um, and then, you know, other videos make a little bit less. Now you can scroll down, you can, it, it breaks it out by ad types, where the revenue is coming from revenue resources. So this is ad revenue and then your YouTube premium revenue. But as you can see, I made $846 with anywhere from 1000 to, I guess, probably 1400 subscribers because that's how many I had. So you can see channel hasn't grown that much. It grew by about 40%, I guess more than 40%, probably 50% in 2020, seeing as how at the beginning I didn't even have a thousand. Um, so I couldn't even monetize until the, what, end of, uh, Oh, I wasn't even monetized until I guess April. So wasn't even monetized in March. You have to basically submit, uh, I want to be monetized kind of thing. They review your channel and then you get monetized. So, um, I got monetized when I could get monetized and made $846 and 18 cents in January or in, in all of 2020. So that is my total revenue from YouTube. Um, 
Now this basically covers, I don't know, my insurance, I guess, for the car and a little bit of gas, but obviously my monthly payments are somewhere around that ballpark. So I'm not making, I'm not living off of YouTube by any means, um, but I do it for fun. You really have to be passionate about it, especially when you're growing your channel. And this is just something I really enjoy. So, you know, with anywhere from 1,000 to 1,300 subscribers, you could potentially be making this. Again, the, the playback-based CPM, the RPM, and the channel views, that's all dependent on the content you're putting out. I, I've heard that finance channels like this one might actually get higher uh, ad rates than other types of YouTube channels. So I guess we'll see what happens in the future, but that that is how much I made in 2020 from my YouTube channel that I was actually working on since 2018 is when I started focusing on car content. I moved back to Maryland in, in early 2018. I had my Tesla and I didn't get monetized until 2020. So it took two years just for me to get monetized. That's how slow my channel grew. Um, but I enjoy doing it. I, I, I have a passion for this stuff. It's fun to make videos. It's fun to share, you know, my cars, um, the journeys that go on with it. And now in this case, personal finance things, the way I'm looking at investments, uh, the way I look at YouTube and things like that. So you know, I enjoy sharing it and even if it's you know, not what I do full time and can't make a living off of $846 a year, uh, it's still a ton of fun and it is nice to share this kind of stuff with people. So hope this was helpful, hope this was uh, neat and sort of, uh, I guess, a look under the veil as to what happened. That's, that's pretty much it, that's, that's how much I make from YouTube ad revenue. I obviously don't have any sponsors or make any money that way. Uh, I don't get free stuff for my cars or anything like that. But that, that is where I'm at. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Go check out my Cars and Kyle YouTube if you, uh, if you are so inclined or enjoy car content as well. But uh, that's effectively going to be it. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching.